Hi, you're joining us here at the Aquarius Habitat, where we are currently only at uh, simulated or actual 25.8 feet under seawater because we're in our deco day, but we are living at 47 feet under seawater. And uh, so this is our decompression day, and we'd like to say goodbye to everyone that's been following us on the surface, that's provided us support, um, that has provided us with the challenges of this mission. And so I'd really like to go around the table and just have people say some of their favorite memories of being a part of NEMO 16. So I'll start to my left with uh, Kimia Yubi. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for your support. Uh, without your support, uh, we, did, uh, we couldn't uh, do this kind of uh, successful mission. Yes, and I really enjoyed the uh, uh, living and, and the mission uh, in this uh, environment. Yes, uh, every single moment was priceless for me. Thank you very much. All right, and then we have our Hab Tech, uh, James Halasek. Uh, my favorite memory from the mission is going to be every EVA, uh, being out there working with the astronauts and working with the Deep Work Submersibles was absolutely amazing, and it's an experience I'll never forget. <coughs> We've had some real fun on this mission. Um, thank you for following. Uh, we've done some great fun science under pressure, and thank you for those who took part in that. We had fun, and I hope you guys did too. For me, I think uh, there's been so many great experiences playing with so many different pieces of equipment, which are great fun. But the best thing is going to be the memories of working with the team, the crew, our Habtechs, James and Justin, and of course the crew back and Key Largo supporting us. Justin. Justin here, uh, one of the other have techs. My favorite moment is kind of like what James said, is the entire mission. I've been around since Nemo 11. I've been waiting a while to get inside working with the astronauts, and I just can't wait to see, you know, 10 years down the road, the things that we worked on here that, that the Nemo project has brought and that they've been able to evaluate here, these tasks. Um, we're going to see that in the future, the things that we've learned here transition into a real-life mission. I'm, I'm real excited for the future of this project and uh, what it holds for everybody. This is Steve Squires. You know, for me, I think one of the best parts about this whole thing was being able to be here in this phenomenal Aquarius habitat. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This place is a national treasure. There's nothing like it anywhere else in the world. The, the Navy uses it. NASA uses it a lot. It's a great resource for uh, scientists. It's just, it's a miraculous, wonderful place run by terrific people, and I'm just really proud to have been able to be here and be associated with this. And uh, to close off as a commander of the mission, um, I have immensely enjoyed being a part of this whole experience also, um, being given the privilege to be the commander. Uh, it's, that's also been a once in my lifetime so far uh, experience, and I've really enjoyed that. Um, I think every day, I'm probably going to cry, <laughs> I think every day I really enjoyed going out the door <laughs> and, uh, and hearing people's voices talking to me, talking me through the EVAs, telling me all the cool things that we were doing, um, focusing, us, focusing us on the science that we were doing, and uh, knowing, like uh, Justin had mentioned too, that this is really important for the future. And, there are people who went before us. We've been talking about Scott Carpenter uh, being the first astronaut and aquanaut who uh, flew in space just uh, over 50 years ago um, this last month, and then who went on to live underwater for 28 days uh, in 1965. And so he paved the way for the rest of the astronaut aquanauts. And uh, that's just really special to me to have such a privilege and. When I flew in space, I considered it a great honor that my country gave to me, and to have been a part of this, I consider a great honor also. So thank you to all who follow along. I know there's been a lot of kids, and I have to tell you that when I was your age, I didn't think any of this would be a part of my future, but I did work hard, and I did what my parents and my teachers asked me to do, and I believe in a lot of things um, about our future, and I continue to believe, and I hope you will too. Thanks. <laughs>